What's up, Bazzy Babes? It's your girl Joy back with another video. Da 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 da. I'm not happy. Well, it is almost 10 o'clock and this is not the same blazer. I have like five different black blazers. <laughs> I know I want this in another video. But I'm just now getting home from school. I am so tired. The classroom is, I would say is 98% done. There are a few little things that need to, that I need to do like the pedal for my bike just came in. Um, I need to add a screw to a table. Just really those two things and just, is it is what it is at this point. I'm tired. So, the reason I'm in my feelings, I put a lot of work into that classroom. You guys have helped me, my enablers. <laughs> <coughs> Um, create a pretty cool classroom and I created this classroom because I'm passionate about it I mean there are gonna be some things that I'm not great at you know but when it comes to designing the classroom making learning fun making learning engaging you know building positive relationships it's it's a gift but another um, educator may be able to have higher order thinking questions, you know, better. That's something that I need to work on. You know, I have my weaknesses that where I need to grow as a teacher. But what burns my biscuits is when you have other teachers who try to tear you down. And I was just hoping that it wouldn't happen. I kind of knew it would, that I would encounter some haters run into the principal oh she uh she the uh she uh, uh you know just at the end of the day we're all there for the kids but then you see somebody who's coming in with a different vision but then you want to tear them down or try to sabotage them or run with little petty stuff to tell little petty things that you do in like first second grade so my thing is, are people so insecure about themselves that they just want to be petty about someone else? That's it's just real insignificant. Like, I mean, I'm just blown away. I'm just blown away. And I just had to get this off my heart that I don't even know I'm just tired it's like I've had to deal with things like this my entire life um, somebody hating on me someone have something to say somebody just something I mean it's just so exhausting and I really hate to say this right now and I can feel I'm getting emotional. And people get upset with me when I say this. But it's just thoughts that go through my head. So I'm just going to say it. You know, do I really want it to happen? No. These are thoughts I have in my head. That sometimes I feel like I'm God's biggest joke. To give me so many talents. And I still have to deal with people who want to hate on me because I'm just being me. It's so frustrating and exhausting. I'm not a regular person. My brain does not work that way. I don't feel comfortable being in a box. I don't want to be caged. I just want to express myself. I'm not hurting anybody. I would never hurt children. I pour my heart into, you know, teaching my classroom. I'm very passionate about it. 
but then there's always somebody there wanting to dim your light and it's just it's exhausting it's like I, I i feel like i just can't win no matter what i do somebody has something to say no matter what video i put out somebody has something to say oh why did you eat your food like that why is your personality like that why is your hair like that why is your outfit like that why is this why you just can't be in this little box and be like everyone else I don't know what to say so I'm in trouble at work <laughs> already and all I've been doing is working on my room smiling meeting people but then secretly there's the, the haters someone who's insecure or jealous or whatever I've been collecting this stuff for my classroom for over four years I spent so much of my money on the classroom because that's what I wanted to do. Someone else may spend their money on vacations or, you know, that gorgeous house. That's not what I want to do. I put my money, whatever little coins I have, or I'm begging somebody for something, I put it into the kids. I put it into the classroom. Just like when they interviewed me on the news. It was the same thing I said. People always say, why do you spend your money? Why do you do this for the kids? Why do you do that? Why do you care? Why do you even care? You do what you want to do. Do what works for you. Why you want to hate on me? So, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. And then it's like you, I feel like, you know, I have all these little talents. For those of you who don't know, I'm a single mom of three teens and um, English teacher for seventh grade. It's like why why even bother giving me this talent even if you know this is the other part I'm not gonna you know grow and reach the stars <laughs> it's just like why but why bother I know I shouldn't say it. I know don't come for me but these are just thoughts that I struggle with in my head these are thoughts that have you know made me sad made me not understand You know, not understand the purpose of giving me all these gifts. I don't know. To be punished for them, you know? It's, a, it's annoying. So anyway, to my little haters out there, keep hating, keep running and telling every little thing. Just go ahead because obviously you're insecure about yourself and feel threatened by me and I'm just there for the kids. You know, I'm willing to share my gifts, share my knowledge. I'm there learning and leaning on another teacher there because she's been amazing. I mean, I'm like, what is that? Huh? What? You know, we just gravitated. I mean, we're trying to lift each other up, not tear each other down. You know, so I'm just like, it makes no sense how sad some people really are. And then you go around the school and look at me and have all these negative things to say, I'm quite sure. What, what can you say? Oh, she did a, a, a good job. I'm not there showing off, I'm not there bragging. I'm not there doing it. I'm trying to get the room together for the kids so we can have a great year, great learning, fun learning. And it's something that I'm passionate about. But no, you want to hate on me. Why? Why? It, you, it's sad. You sad. That's what it is. 
what did I do to you? Absolutely nothing. And trust me, if there's one person that feels their way, I'm quite sure they have their little whole clique that feels the same way. Just intimidated. I don't know how people could be like this. So I, would you contribute that to a bully? Oh, let's get let's get her in trouble. Let's 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 run to the principal. Let's do this. Like, oh yeah, oh my god. She she said that? Oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, she said that word? Oh that's the worst thing in the world. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. What are we five years old? So you want to dim my light because your light doesn't shine? Really? Anyway, I just say get in line. Get in line with the other people who do want to hate on me for absolutely no reason. But the only person I could be is me. And I'm not willing to sacrifice who I am just to make you happy. No, I still have to be me. Anyway, I just wanted to give y'all the tea. I knew it was gonna happen. I knew it. I knew it. Maybe I should just get an office job and be regular. Sit there with a bonnet. Maybe just exist like a, mm. anyway, sorry, I'm not hyper and stuff. So, but um, I was talking to someone, I'm close this out, I was talking to someone and they said that teachers are like, they're on the same level as um, far as our behavior and stuff like that as preachers and ministers yep we you know have to do everything clean 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 um you know i guess be as private as possible you know from the onset of my channel you know my goal is to keep it pg and you know i would say 99 98 percent of my stuff is pg you know, it's good for, for everybody. But, yeah, they was like, they're, two people said it. They said, no, teachers are up there with, with, with a preacher, a minister. As far as our behavior, how we're supposed to behave and stuff. So I was like, oh, dear, dear, oh, dear. I mean, I kind of keep it PG anyway as much as I can. You know, I have my little angry whopper or whatever. But jeez so it's like we can't have a life in outside of school <laughs> and the stuff that they were commenting on was outside it was in this bathroom i was in the bathroom my bathroom at home haters can't live with them can't live without them but they will always be your motivators if you choose to walk and rip you down too but anyway Give this video a thumbs up. I'm tired. I have nothing else left <laughs> to give that classroom. I've given it my all. <laughs> and I will say this, the classroom does look better in person. I also want to say that I am super behind on vlogs. I still have vlogs from Atlanta. I'm not throwing that stuff away. And then I had to do Bobby's hair, which takes away two days of my life. So I couldn't edit then. Then I had online trainings that I had to do. So you're going to get some old stuff. You're going to get some old stuff. Just go with the flow, okay? <laughs> the classroom is done. Who knows when I'll get that because I'm not going to upload the reveal until I get all those old videos out. So I'm going to try to do some editing this weekend and prepare for an exciting day on Monday. All right, guys, I have to give y'all the tea, honey. The hate is real. All right, 
to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Until next time, later.